Facebook's policy would prevent European political actors from using Facebook, Facebook Messenger and Instagram for their EU-wide paid communication campaigns. This policy would put EU political actors at the same level as foreign entities attempting to interfere in the EU elections. So a bit more detail. Under these new rules, Facebook applies more rigorous checks on its advertisers. It also imposes geographical limits requiring registration in the country where the ads are to be purchased, which goes against the whole idea of a pan-EU political campaigning in the first place. Facebook, however, justifies its actions, saying its new policy is a safeguard against foreign interference. We weighed the different risks and concluded that the right solution to help best guard against foreign interference is to only allow people to run advertisements in an EU country if they have passed an authorization process confirming they are a resident in that same country. The chairman of the Bow Group think tank told us Facebook has forgotten about its initial purpose and goals. This started because there were allegations that uh, foreign parties were influencing um, elections in, in other parts of the world. Um, now, I think almost all of those allegations have been disproven. What, what Facebook have done is they've, they've looked at the fact that there's been huge uproar um, at the amount of data they've been collecting on their own users and rather than restricting themselves, which is what they should have been doing, they've restricted the users, which seems an entirely wrong-headed approach for smaller organisations and for individuals that just want to comment um, on the political discourse. It's going to get harder and harder and harder. So big players um, will, will be able to comply with the new regulations, but smaller players won't. And I think that's ultimately injurious to the platform, injurious to debate and injurious to democracy. That's not how it should be. And Facebook ultimately began as a peer-to-peer, -a, -peer, uh, a grassroots network, essentially. And I think if it strays away from that and it just becomes another big corporation, uh, then something else will, will take its place.